So I am here with Sarah, and we are at Portland Nursery on Stark Street. And today, Sarah, we're gonna we're gonna talk ground covers mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people they they get the concept of something that covers the ground, but there are so many selections. So why don't you just begin right here? This these look I'm, I'm assuming that are sun ones. So let's yes. just start with those. Yes, it's very easy to get overwhelmed at the amount of options there are for ground covers. So th we've picked out some that are good for sun. Um, the thing with ground covers is some are a little more aggressive than others, yes. so we picked a little bit from each category. So this Vinca here puts on gorgeous, bigger flowers. Um, excellent, excellent choice for a ground cover, but it can be uh, really aggressive. It yeah. can, you know, so if, if um, it's not something that you're wanting to control, it's not a good option. Well, if you have a, if you're covering huge amounts of space, yeah. then that would be one that you would consider. Yeah, anything. it's fast growing. So when it, if it says fast growing, that's also code for can be hard to control if you need <laughs> It's a to. secret code, now we've, yeah. we've revealed it yes. to the world. <laughs> um, and then this one, the Angelina um, Sedum, it's one that I actually have in my own yard. It can get a little bit, um, it is fast growing, so it can pop up in different places, but it's really easy to pull up, so it's not too big of a deal if it gets away from you. Yeah, in fact, we were looking earlier, Sarah, and look at, this one was just laying on the ground and it's already rooting in, and mm -hmm. that's part of what makes it kind of aggressive, is you break it, if your dog runs by it, then you got new plants. Yep, <laughs> yeah, and if you pull it up and leave the littlest trace, then it'll there it just is. reseed. <laughs> so, um, we've got this, this is a type of hens and chicks. Beautiful. And it's a gorgeous one, it'll kind of create a mat, again, easy one to pull up, but oh. not gonna be as fast growing as these other ones. Um, and this is one of my favorites. Yeah. It's the New Zealand moss. Um, it will just kind of gets that moundy. I love to just push <laughs> on it. Um, it'll just, it's like watching paint dry, watching it grow. You know, it just kind of slowly <laughs> expands into a bigger mound. So that one you've got to have some patience for, but you know, it makes a really cute little, um, almost like stepping stone look in a yard. And if, if you, you only something. have a small space, that's the kind of ground covers you want to consider. Yeah, because you don't want it to be taken over yeah. everything. So, now, those a lot are all of them, for sun. Oh. Yeah, they are all for sun. But a lot of ground covers, a lot of plants in general, really we say sun or shade, but they can tolerate a lot of both. So this middle section you picked out are some of those things. Yes, those are my favorite ones. They're easy. If you don't know if it's sun, if you don't know if it's shade, then it's an easy fix with one of these. Um, so this one here is the Lismachia, the Creeping Jenny, and it can, it's fast growing. It is it's, creeping is really not the word that should yeah. be used for it. <laughs> it's fast growing, so a lot of people actually don't know that when they plant it and get a nice little surprise. Um, <laughs> But it's great, like you say, for covering a big area. Super lush look, beautiful yellow flowers. Um, this one here is the Irish moss. So this one is great if you're looking to replace, you know, a lawn yeah. or something like that. Yep. You don't have to mow it, not as much water, and it gets cute little white flowers on it. Um, this one is a, a slow to moderate grower. Mm -hmm. So you would have to make more of a financial investment, you know, buying a lot to oh, fill in I a see. big yes, space. Oh, yes, certainly. Um, and then we've got this, the white heron's bill. Beautiful. Such cute little <laughs> flowers, nice cute little leaves. This one's a slower, moderate grower. Um, will cover real nice. Uh, these are both of the same thing. They're the, the brass buttons, but two different uh, varieties. This yeah. one's a little softer. As you can see, it's got that bronzy black look that's supposed to, it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. Um, this is the Platts black, and then this is the black brass buttons, so nice. putting on little flowers. And really, again, not, not, not terribly aggressive. You know what I have found, though, Sarah, is a lot of plants, that first two or three years, they really, they don't tend to do much, but then after about the third year, some of them can really explode. Yeah. And that's one of them that just fills in nicely. Once they get established, then they have a lot, yeah. you know, a lot more energy to put towards expanding <laughs> we all, their, we all their do. real estate. Um, <laughs> These just look like strawberries. They do, and they are a form of strawberry. This one's a lipstick with the hot pink beautiful, flowers. Beautiful. That one's really popular. Um, and then this one is a beach strawberry. So as you can see, it's got these cute little white flowers, little lower growing, and sends out these shoots. And it, it spreads in that way. So if, if you're seeing it send out these runners, um, that's it trying to explain. So then if you really wanted those in a smaller space, all you would have to do is just keep an eye on those runners and snip them off then. Yes, yeah. So Sarah, I'm going to assume now that this last little collection is shade stuff. You are correct. <laughs> um, this one is a sweet woodruff and it deserves its name. It's such a sweet, you know, great um, 
kind of woodlandy look. It is. Um, and people assume that ground covers have to be closer to the ground. Not at all. This one actually will get to be like six to ten inches. Nice. So a little bit further off the ground and give you a nice covering. Um, can be aggressive after, or well, not aggressive, but it, it yeah, can. Yeah, it, it can. I mean, it'll, it'll after a pump couple out. years, yeah. once it gets established, <laughs> you know, it'll be there when, wherever it is. Um, this is a Japanese spurge, which gives you Love kind those. of a thicker, glossier leaf, um, but again, with the height. Um, so, taller ground cover. Um, this is a baby tears. How cute is that? Adorable. They are. And such just cute little leaves. This one, um, it does spread pretty well, but this is a shade ground cover as well. Yeah, and they I, and that's another great thing for like a lawn. If you want a place that looks green that's not grass, what a choice that would be great for. Yeah, them. especially in a, a shady situation, you don't have as many options. That's a beautiful one. Next, what is that? This one is a variegated ajuga. Um, so this is shade as well. It spreads pretty well. It, it's not terribly fast growing, but it. it it can spread on its own as well. I mean, they all they all spread, and I think that's the thing with ground covers is that it's not a guarantee that they're going to stay just right in. in well, and, place. and the very name connotes a certain concept of covering the ground, so you you you're probably wanting something that does that. And I would think though that there are still ways that you could get ground covers, but they still need attention just because they're a plant that you are covering the ground with. They still need some maintenance. Absolutely. Um, getting cut back, you know, mowing, yeah, <laughs> mowing them over yeah. with the lawnmower every once that. in a while. <laughs> um, kind of removing any dead, you know, if they flower, they're going to have dead flowers. So just kind of just roughing them up a little bit. So Sarah, one of the great things about ground covers is not only because it fills in areas that don't look pretty, but it's also great for weed suppression. Yeah, that's actually the number one reason why people plant ground covers, that and lawn replacement. Um, so the important thing to know when you come in is to just know what kind of situation your site has as far sure. as sun and water and, and whether or not you want to be able to walk on it and those types of things and then we can help you get a ground cover that's good for your space. That's the most important part. Well, you heard it right here then. Remember that uh, Portland Nursery has a huge amount of, of all types of plants, but certainly with ground covers as well. So you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website, come on by and talk with their great staff and get the ground cover that works perfect for your space. Thank you so much. Thanks.